So let's talk about using a pick or what's called a plectrum. There seems to be this bit of a stigma attached to, you know, if bass players use a plectrum, they're not, you know, they're not a real bass player and all that kind of thing. And that's complete nonsense. In fact, I would actually recommend getting a pick and learning how to use it if you don't already. Now, if you don't use fingers yet and you just use a plectrum, I'd really recommend that you do use your fingers as well on your plucking hand. And this is, I think, the actual, the, this whole sort of, you know, this argument came about, I think, because a lot of guitar players um, gravitate to the bass. After they've played guitar a while, they gravitate to the bass. They've been playing the guitar with a plectrum and they, you know, simply start playing bass with a plectrum. And that's fine. It's great to do that. But you, you shouldn't just sort of stop yourself there. You need to sort of like expand your technique and learn how to use with your fingers as well. But as I said, I really recommend if you haven't learned to play with a plectrum, you should do as well because there's, there's tones and sounds that you can get from a plectrum that you just can't get from your fingers. And if you're in a situation where you're playing in a rock band and they want that kind of tone, or you're in a studio situation where the producer wants a certain sound, you know, then you're, you're going to have to come up with the goods and play with the plectrum. So don't look at plectrums as um, a lesser form of bass playing almost. Look at it as just a different tonal option that you need to have in your bag of tricks. There's a few techniques or a few exercises I want to give you just so... Um, so, so it's working properly, okay? So, so you get, you're getting the technique together in the correct way and not, you know, coming up with all these weird and wonderful bad habits, okay? So as far as plectrums are concerned, they come in loads of different shapes and sizes and, and what's called gauges as well. Um, the gauge is how thick it is. I prefer a really, really tough one. Um, so it's quite thick and... And as you can see as well, it's a, a really small plectrum. So they do bass plectrums. I've heard of people using like, you know, Jim Dunlop, I think, um, who make plectrums. They, they make specific bass ones. I don't re really recommend using them at all. What I do recommend is going to your local guitar shop, buying a few different types of plectrums, different gauges, different sizes and just experimenting and seeing what works for you. Again, depending on the tone that I'm looking for, I sometimes use a thinner plectrum because I need a little bit more of a sort of, well, a different attack. And it, when you get different gauges of plectrums, you'll find that different plectrums give you different tones. As far as holding it, I simply, here's the tip that I'm playing with. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that. I put the thumb across there and then hold it with the other side. And I kind of sort of like move it around, but essentially I've just got the tip sticking out there and that's what I strike the string with. So I'm just gonna turn up the volume. So I get this. Okay, easy as that, right? Now, the one thing that I want you and need you to do is start if you're already playing with the pick, or if you haven't, I want you to work on your alternate picking. And that means instead of, by the way, I'm just gonna use a C major scale as an example here as something to play. Instead of playing like this, okay, so look at my right hand here, the, the plectrum, so. As you can see that, that's all down strokes. I want you to play down, up, 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 down. So the alternate, I'm alternate picking up and down. This technique, it'll, it might take a little bit to get together so you feel natural with it, but Soon, soon enough, after you've got, you know, got, down, got it down and it feels natural, then you want to start cranking the speed up bit by bit. And what I want you to do is split this exercise into four parts. So again, all over the C major scale, okay? So just for the first part of the exercise, I just want you to play one note on each note of the C major scale and just concentrate on playing up or down and up, okay? So again, just as we did before. Thank you. 
Then I want you to play two notes per, or two picks for every note of the C major scale. So instead of like that, we're gonna go one, two. Part of the exercise, I want you to play three picks on each note. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. And then four notes per note, every note of the C major scale. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, two. Okay, and I want you to concentrate on the tone of each pick being consistent, okay? That it's consistent, da 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 da. See the alternate motion, how it works? So if you just go through each one of them exercises, the first one, up to speed. You know, you can play, you can rotate it round and round like that as well. The next one, two notes per, two picks per note. Three picks per note. And finally, four notes. Four picks per note. And when I'm doing that as well, you can experiment with dampening from the, the picking hand here by just laying your hand over the this area of the bridge. So you go from this sound to this sound. That's great for rock. Okay, instead of... You've got that. It also gives a quite a Motown type of feel. So there's all these different types of tones you can get out of it. But I really recommend just taking them four little exercises and then after you've done that, try and apply using the pick to the bass lines that you already know and you'll find that there's a whole new side of learning because it, although it's quite simple when you start off using the plectrum, if you want to be able to play other bass lines that you already know with the pick, it's going to take a little bit of relearning and it's really good just stretching your technique and stretching what you do as a bass player. So hopefully you enjoy this lesson. Go get yourself a pick.